Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. This is going to be for your quarterly reading, your last quarter of 2018, which will consist of the month of October, November and December. Alright, so this will be for uh, your general uh, quarterly reading. And the first for the first part, we'll start off with a yes or a no answer. Okay, yes or a no. So if you have got a question in your mind, um, you could actually pause the video in a bit uh, pause the video if you need to phrase your question carefully think about your question and be very specific about your what you're asking about in terms of uh, a person's name or an event timing like yesterday morning uh, with who and where so let's say if it's an interview you could it could be an uh, interview yesterday morning with which company all right so be very specific about um, what you're asking, who you're asking about, okay? So all your cards has been shuffled. So while I picked up my cards over here, so I'll just show you that. So all your cards has been shuffled, okay? So I'm just uh, picking them up and rearranging them. So uh, meanwhile, I'll just make an announcement. Right now, I have, I have a long reading, long reading deal, long reading deal, a two hour, two hour long, two hours long reading deal. All right. So that again will be unlimited question for you at fifty dollars only for two hours or more actually. So minimum uh two hours, two hours of reading because for those of you who have gotten a reading from me before, you know that I do a very long read. So that's a deal for you if you will need to so let's begin the last deck just let me pick up the last deck uh, if you have more than one question uh, that's fine I will be having uh, in a few other decks the angel answers uh, as another answer for you uh, if you have a second question or a third question well, there will be this message or advice card so it could be for your first second and third question or it could just be uh, complementing the first the first question that you might have okay if you don't really have a second question okay so without further ado let me just shuffle the last bit and I will lay the spread of yes or no for you. Major Arcana and even number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 will be yes card. One last shuffle. All the other cards like court card, uh, knight, page, king, queen and, and odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. All this will be a no card. Okay. So one last, did I say one last shuffle? Okay, let's do it again. One last shuffle for Pisces for the last quarter. The question, what is the answer to the question that Pisces might have for this last quarter 2018? Okay, stay with me. Ooh. Okay. Ten, eight, Empress, Wheel of Fortune, and Three of Swords. Alright, so out of five cards, Okay, I'm not sure whether you have got your question ready, but pause the video if you need to. Otherwise, now I'm re revealing what's on the card over here. What's on the cards over here? Out of five cards, I have got four cards of yes and one card of no. Okay, uh, ten of ten of ones in reverse, eight of ones upright. So eight, eight. They are even number, which is a yes, and the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. That will be Major Arcana, which is a yes as well. Okay, the only no card is a Three of Swords, so that's a no. It's an odd number. All right, let me just uh, elaborate on the yes card. What does it mean for you? So you have to apply the meaning of these cards uh, accordingly to your situation or the question that you're asking. For the, for the first, we have 10 of Wands. 10 of Wands in reverse is really asking you to, sometimes you might have to let go of unnecessary burden or you might be dealing with unnecessary burden or you might have to take on more than necessary. It depends on the situation. So let's say, for example, like, can you leave a family situation? Maybe it's telling you, okay, so this is a yes Yes, it is saying that yes, you can leave a family situation because all these are, could be unnecessary uh, burdens for you on you. Okay, 10 of wands in reverse. So apply accordingly. But if you are asking something like, mm, like should I help Should I help a certain someone? All right. When, and the answer over here, it is saying yes, you should help. But it says there's this 10 of wands in reverse over here. This is unnecessary burden. But it, say, it, it is saying yes, you should help. Yes, you should help and even if it means taking on unnecessary burden. 
Okay, this is how you could actually apply the meaning of the cards accordingly. All right. So the eight of wands, the next card, eight of wands in upright position. This is about progressiveness, about growing. So whatever you do, it will help you to grow, even though it might be uh, additional or unnecessary burden. All right. Even though you might. Uh, uh, like the outcome might not be desirable but throughout the process it might help you to grow because of this eight of wands it might help you to grow in other way in certain way okay the next card we have the empress all right so this empress is uh so the empress is someone who has her life settled like she marries off to the to the emperor she has a uh, she lives in a royal palace like and this is the empress like the queen okay so this empress is really telling us that everything will turn out like whatever the process is about whatever the process is it should be nurturing it should be nurturing for you like should you leave a situation yes you should leave and uh, by leaving the situation it should be nurturing for you or you know for example should you go back to someone go back to somewhere a certain place by going back to the certain place it might be more nurturing for you this is where the, this is the empress is what it means over here or it could just mean that there could be someone who's uh like um someone who uh who could be there to be helping you and she could be like a figure of an empress like a mother like an empress she, there might be this figure who's able to help you and pull you along in your way okay and the next card we have the view of fortune so this is a card of good luck whatever that you do there's good luck in it, it uh, the essence of good luck is in is in it uh, it's something where which you can actually expect for yourself over here so apply according apply the meanings of this card accordingly to your question so overall if it's too complicated for you just take the answer yes for you for your question all right Pisces this is for you so next we will pull the next uh, angel answer card okay so let's see what is the angel answer uh, what is the angel answer about for you if that's for your second question, if you have got a second question in your mind, alright? If you don't have, then let this angel answer be uh, complementing to the first. Okay, but if, it, if it's not uh, relevant, if it doesn't sound relevant, then just ignore it. It is not for you. Okay? Alright. So let's pull a card. So the card, the angel answer over here, it says, If you believe okay if you believe believe in what you do believe in the situation believe in the person whatever it can mean to to your second question okay One last shuffle. Sorry, my mind just shifted and I just shuffled endlessly. Okay, so for the third uh, message card, this is the third message card. If you have got a third question, alright, this will be for you. Okay, let me. So, here we go. So, the next message card we have the night triumph over adversity. So, this is the answer this is the card the knight and it says triumph over adversity okay be um be open-minded keep an open mind all right keep an open mind in whatever you do whatever that you're considering consider all factors factor in more or more than uh factor in more okay it is always good to consider more to think more to think more broadly Alright, so that's what it means. Okay, so now we are proceeding on to lay your three months uh, spread. Three months spread. What is what is it looking like for you in the whole in the next three months of October, November, and December? One last shuffle for the sign of Pisces. What do we have? In the cards for Pisces in this coming three months. Okay, here we go. 
So we are starting off. We are starting off the the quarter with Pisces. You always have this card. You always have this card. We are starting this quarter again. You being big hearted, big hearted, loving, giving a lot of love, necessarily or unnecessarily, reasonably or unreasonably. So. Pisces, you always have a lot of love to give. You're always overly caring, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. But sometimes you you find yourself being hurt because you give too casually. You give too casually. Let's put it this way. Too casual. You need to filter who you're giving your your can your cancer, your concern, your love, care, and concern too. Okay? Have awareness, have awareness, be be sure and be in the know of what you're doing. Because sometimes Pisces, you are so dreamy that you might not have the clarity or you might not be aware of what the situation that you're in, what you're doing. You just want you just want to do it. Like I feel like doing it, I want to do it. This is you, Pisces. So there needs to be clarity in you. You need to know who and what you're giving to okay partnership obviously is not for you in this quarter in this last quarter of the year and it says that you have to filter out there's this strong filtering okay you have to filter out and block out cut out whatever tumor tumor meaning to say people person or places or, or, or situation cut out whatever that's no longer serving you partnership doesn't seem to work for you in this in this quarter meaning to say you might be better off alone you for whatever if it's a project that you have to work on work on it alone be independent and not be uh, relying on others so rely only on yourself trust only yourself in this quarter of the year okay partnership don't seem to help you in any way it seems to only pull you back and draw you back okay the lovers is in reverse the four of wands stability is in reverse okay this is the lovers in reverse and this four of wands in reverse so cut out pull back draw back from whatever that's not serving you five of swords blocking of communication okay so block out block out and have some filter this is what i'm saying filter have some filter you know the pisces the pisces that i know really has got no filter or otherwise they are filtering out too much they like over this it's it is really extreme too very extreme uh extreme pole polar of you pisces pisces okay And it seems to me that at some point in this quarter of the year, you might find yourself uh, drifting back, drifting back or going towards people of the past, past, uh, past businesses where you have already closed the book and closed the chapter. You find yourself drifting back, going back to revisit or knocking on people's door like, hey, how are you? You know how sometimes people from the past come back to us, but you are the type where you will go back. You will be others, others past, others past going back to them. Okay, if this is if this is how I I, I see I see it. Okay. So stop giving, stop giving too casually is what I'm saying. Stop being too overly sensitive overly loving or care uh, like caring over overly caring or caring 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 yeah overly caring or over uh, overly sensitive towards others you know sometimes when people are being kind to us you might just instant instantly take it as oh this person loves me this person likes me you you could be over sensitive sometimes and you will easily attract people who will manipulate you. People who are manipulative Pisces. It is telling me, it is not, I'm not telling you about the nature of Pisces, but I'm telling you in this quarter, this is what I'm saying. You will naturally attract people who are more uh, uh, dominant sometimes, who will work their way through, who knows, who knows how to play their game, who knows their cards. Okay? So... Be just be careful. I'm not saying no, I'm not saying totally it is a no, but 
I'm just saying that uh, have some filter, have some filter. And it will, you will find yourself being in a situation where one party is always giving and one party is always taking. Is the taker and one is always the giver and it is always the case there is no balancing out or there is no switching of roles it will seem one of the party if, if it's you or if it's not you then the other person one of you will feel imbalanced when it comes to the emotional satisfaction like one of you will have grudges like why am i always the one i'm always the one taking taking the initiative or taking the approach uh, approaching them like i'm always the one asking like i'm the one who wanted more than anyone else why am i always the one so there will be this imbalance uh, emotional imbalance over here someone if it's not you that it would be the other person the other party that you are dealing with Pisces okay so what I'm seeing over here the cards are telling me that in this quarter in this quarter Pisces you are you are actually encouraged to take a new approach take a new do something which you have never done it not done before which you never see yourself doing take a new approach or include in some some risk over here okay include in some risk but of course whatever risk that we take in our life doesn't matter you Pisces or not uh, all the risk needs to be calculated risk okay you need to already know project or forecast what's the worst outcome what's the best case scenario or worst case scenario so Pisces, this reading, what I'm having over here, there's nothing new when we come to talk about Pisces. This is always the case. This is always the personality. This is the... I'm almost reading and telling about the, you know, the sign of Pisces. What's their, what's their traits? What's their trademark? What's their behavior? What's their mindset? This is exactly your mindset. And this is almost nothing to do with like the quarterly reading. It is not like, oh, this quarter you are meeting with something special, some new new event or newness. No, this whole reading over here is telling me that it is always the same because your practices are always the same. You always take the same approach, do the same thing only for the same result to be happening, to be unfolding for you. Okay, going back to the past, knocking back on the past people's door be other people's ex or be other other people's past you are the one going back to them not not people coming to you but you are the one going back so it is asking us over here pisces to work on yourself to be less giving and work on yourself why less giving because we have the six of pentacles over here this is about giving this is less giving so be less giving and co or consider who you're giving yourself to okay and work on yourself work on yourself work on your life eight of pentacles be clear about what do you really want to achieve in your life Okay, have some clarity, have some clarity, have some awareness, self-awareness, what, you know, connect yourself, connect yourself, think, review what is really happening in your life thus far. Because for all the good and all the bad, it is all due to your own uh, actions, your behavior, your decision making. Okay, so at one point in time throughout this quarter, there will come a time where there might be, uh, there will come a time where you will have to consider about a person, a place, or a situation very thoroughly carefully thorough consideration thorough uh, thorough 
consideration thorough decision making time it's almost like two of ones but no this is seven of pentacles consider consider carefully how do you utilize how much do you give yourself how do you expense yourself expense yourself meaning to give yourself away how much are you giving away to others giving yourself away to others your time your material your emotions your emotions emotional your mind your mental your time okay consider there will be a time there will come a time where you will ponder about hmm why am I always the one? Like you are always the one, Pisces. So this reading really, this whole reading points me back to the typical trait of you, Pisces. Nothing new, nothing new. Everything, Pisces, you have always been giving uncon unconditionally, which is good, which is not a bad thing. But because of how external people are how the outside world are people always take advantage of our kindness so because of that you have to have some self uh, control uh, yeah self control if that's how what I would call it okay control um, no not as in not exactly control it doesn't sound right um okay whatever it is you know what i mean so pisces and you know this the message card over here says triumph over adversity adversity is being open open to more options open to more possibilities and not always be going back to the same old place same old situation same old people from the past open triumph over adversity open up your stream your channel don't go, don't be so mainstream do something different this time adopt a different approach okay but otherwise there is nothing really too bad about this reading it is just saying that you will you will find yourself in this in this quarter in this during these three months having to having to have some filter only because others are making you having doubts in yourself others are injecting doubts in you about yourself they might be making you feeling uh, lousy about yourself feeling like you know why am I not accepted but you know what Pisces it is not because you're not good it is because they people don't appreciate you for who you are though they people do not appreciate your kindness so consider carefully and the, for the first yes or no we are saying that you are taking on unnecessary burden again not I do not know your situation I do not know whether if uh, it, it should or it shouldn't be but this is naturally you you're taking on more than necessary and you're always taking on be in the front line for others like if there's any gun shoot any any riots you are always the one who gets who gets a uh, shoot first okay the overall energy over here it is nine of ones it is you this is you this energy is you this nine of ones is really a lot about letting your guts down letting your guts off and this is you you are too casual about giving yourself away I'm not saying uh, physically or what no I'm saying you are too giving just too giving Pisces I haven't give that much attention to you Pisces and this is the time this is the reading now I want to give a lot of attention to you Pisces I want to take this chance to tell you that you have to stop giving yourself too casually you have to stop trusting trusting the outside world because Pisces you belong to under the sea you are under the sea you don't really know what's happening on the land you are the fish in the tank do you really know what's happening up there on the land on the land no you don't you don't walk on you don't walk on the land you don't live on the land you live in a different in a different space altogether you live in a different space altogether unlike the air sign air they are all around they can be in a water water there's air air sex as well or in the air in the air uh, on, on land air sign so that's air signs water sign you 
especially you being the fish, you can never live on land. You do not know how, what the people on the land are. You are just a very different creature altogether. But a kind and a good soul you are. Okay? Pisces. Okay, this is what I have for you. If you need a monthly breakdown, continue to watch out for your monthly reading. Otherwise, if you need a personal reading, uh, they are available in different options, various options in the description box below. Till then, Pisces, please take care of yourself, love yourself more, and not give yourself away. Okay, I care for you and I wish you good luck. Bye-bye.